And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by the San Francisco Otter Choir. Free concerts every Wednesday, except for mating season. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. Let's try Dumber and Dumber Two. So there's Dumb and Dumber, and then there was Dumb and Dumberer, and then Dumb and Dumber Two. Makes perfect sense. Now going back a few decades, there was The Odd Couple and The Odd Couple Two. So. If another remake of The Odd Couple used the superlative adjective, it would be called the blank couple. Odd, otter, oddest, or otterist. <laughs> Player two. Odd is the adjective, otter is the comparative adjective, and oddest is the superlative adjective. But of course, everyone who made the original Odd Couple movies is dead, which means it's the perfect time for Rob Schneider to swoop in and revitalize the franchise. Player one. No, but speaking of Otter, Otter, get it? You just won! The greatest hits of the San Francisco Otter Choir. Hailed as one of the top three Otter Choirs in the world, the San Francisco Otter Choir will astound you with their covers of Little Red Corvette and The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Flavored Eye Drops. Why let your mouth have all the fun? Flavored Eye Drops. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. How about... Shop till everyone drops. Say at Christmas time, every single item at your local mall sells out. According to a popular grim fairy tale, which of these stores has the best chance to be magically stocked overnight by hardworking elves? Foot Locker, Radio Shack, Victoria's Secret, or Lens Crafters? Player 2? In the grim fairy tale, The Elves and the Cobbler, a poor shoemaker is given some much-needed help by elves who appear in the middle of the night. And while the shoemaker made a nice profit, the elves were trampled to death on Black Friday. Player one, I think your vision's blurred. But clear your eyes tastefully with these flavored eye drops. All those in flavor, say I. This wrong answer of the game has earned you four thousand dollars. Don't spend it all in one place. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Slightly used balloons. The more these balloons deflate, the more your wallet inflates. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. And on its way, all rise for the Honorable Dinwoody Fudnuddler. If trees brought a class action lawsuit against Lumberjacks, which Dr. Seuss character would they most likely hire as their legal counsel? The Cat in the Hat, the Grinch, Pop, or the Lorax? Watch how easy this is. The Lorax speaks for the trees. And in a lawsuit, the legal counsel speaks for its client, in this case, the trees. It makes sense the Lorax would be a lawyer. He always sues. You hopped on the wrong answer. <laughs> but also just drifted into winning an assortment of half-deflated balloons from slightly used balloons. Slightly used balloons. When the party's over, the savings begin. This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Team Sasquatch, a new drama on the Angst Network. He's mysterious, he's elusive, and he drives the girls wild, like him. Mondays at 8. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Why not try shacking up? 
Where should a large Shacko be worn on Shaq O'Neal? His extra large ears, his big feet, his large head, or his massive hands? <laughs> No, no, I'll get this. Shackos are a military-style hat with a large feather in the front, often worn by marching band leaders. It would be the most ridiculous thing he's worn since Kazam. Do you believe in big feet? Well, you should, because you just won an autographed poster of Ketor, the sexy Sasquatch star of Team Sasquatch on the Inks Network. If you think Bigfoot was sexy before, you ain't seen nothing yet -y. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a tidy 4000 bucks. There you go. And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Kale Mart. If you find a single thing in our store that is not associated with kale, it's free. Kale Mart. We don't even know what kale is, and we don't care. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. Let's begin with... Mail Enhancement. Just taking a moment to open my mail. Something I like to do every couple of years. Hmm, probably should have paid that. Ah, an old Christmas card. Well, let's see what it says inside. Well, it's been a big year for the whole family. Junior learned to drive, mom changed jobs, and dad started a drug empire cooking and selling high-quality methamphetamine. Hmm, what TV family is this Christmas card from? The greens, the browns, the blacks, or the whites? <laughs> The correct answer is... Why, yes, this card is from Walter and Skylar White and their son Walt Jr. from the show Breaking Bad. And I'd read you the rest of the letter, but it's full of spoilers. Well, looks like you're not getting the green this time. But you'll have plenty of green soon with this brand new... Kale Coffee Maker from Kale Mart. Enjoy a piping hot cup of kale in the morning. Because apparently now kale is a thing that everybody's talking about and eating. And you can't escape it, so you might as well just put it in your f***ing coffee. You'll be happy to know this wrong answer of the game comes with $4,000. Congrats. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... The Anti-Pedestrian Council. Hey, I'm trying to drive here, is our motto. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. Take a stab at... Yoko has no remorse. What Beatles album am I describing? Let it be Yellow Submarine, Abbey Road, or Help. Want to see the right answer? Dot 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 dash 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 dot 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 in Morse code is SOS, the International Distress Call. Of course, if the Beatles ever got stranded, they'd need help from somebody, but not just from anybody, picky bastards. You mean the album with the Beatles on the crosswalk? No. But you can gently bump crosswalkers out of your way with... A memory foam car bumper from the Anti-Pedestrian Council. The Anti-Pedestrian Council. Because walkers. Am I right? This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Hoarder Helpers. Are you a hoarder? We're here to help you hoard more stuff. Absolutely no psychiatrist on staff. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. This one's known as... Zombies never get old! What might you see in a television show called The Balking Dead? An army of zombies walking backwards, a horde of zombies walking in circles, a swarm of zombies walking on tiptoe, or a legion of zombies refusing to walk at all? Here's what you meant to pick. If the dead are balking, that means they've stopped short or are refusing to move forward for some reason. Kind of like the plot of Walking Dead Season 2. Wow, this is a real horde of circular logic. 
Which is great because that means you just won this expandable hoarder house from Hoarder Helpers. Because one man's trash is another man's trash. And he can store his expandable hoarder house. This wrong answer of the game just gets you an extra 4,000 smackers. Congratulations. And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... The Vegan Cannibal Supply Company. Flesh-free foods for the conscientious cannibal. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. Coming up, the Zodiac Thriller. Okay, you know what? I've got to get my mind off Paul Rudd for a minute. Perfect time to do this Leo DiCaprio question. Which Leonardo DiCaprio movie was the closest to being born a Leo? Django Unchained, December 25th, 2012. What's Eating Gilbert Grape, March 4th, 1994. Inception, July 16th, 2010. Or Revolutionary Road, January 23rd, 2009. Why didn't you pick this? Leos are born between July 23rd and August 22nd. Leos, of course, are known for being friendly, outgoing, and dependent on poor accents. You must be trying to function on an empty stomach if you're thinking about eating a person. Well, it's a good thing you've just won some vegan snacks like this. Oxley Pill Fingers from the Vegan Cannibal Supply Company. They're only slightly worse tasting than actual human flesh. His wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Oopsie Daddy Male Pregnancy Tests. When you need to know quick whether you're going to be a daddy or not, trust Oopsie Daddy. Just pee and wait. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. Up next, flow me to the moon. Let's say an astronaut on Mars is experiencing her time of the month. If she stays there for an entire Martian year, how many more times of the month will she experience? 22 times of the month, 12 times of the month, 2 times of the month, or she won't have another time of the month. <laughs> Time is short. Well, honestly. A Martian year lasts approximately 687 Earth days, which would mean the astronaut would get her period about 22 times. <laughs> Truly making it the red planet. <laughs> no, but that could mean she's pregnant. <laughs> but guys, you can find out with... A male pregnancy test from Oopsie Daddy, because men should be involved in some other part of the process, right? Today's wrong answer of the game gets you another 8,000 on top of your current score. Sweet. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Is it a dog? Just answer yes or no to the various photos based on whether or not you think it's a dog or not. Then you'll win the game. How fun is that? Very... Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. <laughs> Open wide for Animation Domination. Which member of the Griffin family from Family Guy most likely got a recent Apgar score? Stewie, Peter, Brian, or Meg? <laughs> it's so obvious. The APGAR scale is a detailed test used to assess the overall health of newborn babies, something that Stewie Griffin, a baby, experienced the most recently. And based on the shape of his head, he should have gotten an F-. minus. Now, APGAR scores are for humans, not dogs. But you know what is for humans? Is it a dog, the game! The newest, coolest party game from the people who brought you Which One is the Spoon and How Many Fingers Am I Holding Up? Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy! Question 7! And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... The 24-hour wicker store, because there's no telling when you'll need a wicker fix. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. 
Why not try over easy in 60 seconds? So recently, I've switched over to only eating cage-free eggs. I was just feeling so guilty about eating eggs from an animal that wasn't allowed the simple luxury of moving around a few inches in a hot, crowded barn all day. In fact, I've been thinking I should extend my cage-free policy to other things in my life, like movies. So tell me, if I only wanted to consume Nicolas Cage-free movies, what film would it be okay for me to watch? Adaptation, Kick-Ass, The Expendables 2, or The Wicker Man? <laughs> This would have worked. Nick Cage was an adaptation, Kick-Ass, and The Wicker Man, but The Expendables 2 is Nicolas Cage free, making it fine for me to watch. I know going Nicolas Cage free is the moral thing to do, but I'm gonna have to find some way to supplement my life with all the random screaming I'm missing. No, not The Wicker Man! But you can be a wicker man or lady with a pair of wicker socks from the 24-hour wicker store. A tisk and a task and your feet will feel like they're in a basket. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a tidy 4,000 bucks. There you go. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Indoor sunglasses. Why wear normal outdoor sunglasses when you're trying to look cool indoors? Why, it's two totally different things. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. And now, you don't know Jack, man. Say Hugh Jackman wanted to increase his value as an actor by altering his hue. In color terms, what would increase his value the most? Lightening the hue of his skin, darkening the hue of his hair, intensifying the hue of his eyes, or adding new shades to the hue of his wardrobe? The correct answer is... Value is defined as the relative lightness or darkness of a color or hue. The more light the color, the higher the value. But I don't think Hugh Jackman should lighten his skin. I mean, I like him a lot, but that dude is already one of the whitest people in the world. Enough is enough. There's only one shade to this answer, the wrong shade. Which is great for you because you've just won this pair of indoor sunglasses from Indoor Sunglasses. Indoor sunglasses are not for outdoor use. If worn outside for periods longer than three minutes, sunglasses may melt in the sun and fuse to your eyes permanently. Do not use indoor sunglasses if you have a history of epilepsy or are pregnant or nursing. Please consult with your doctor to find out if indoor sunglasses are right for you. Today's wrong answer of the game gets you another 8,000 on top of your current score. Sweet. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... The Devil! Sure, God and Heaven sound great and everything, but have you fully considered Hell? Or are you just going by what you've heard? Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. It's time for... NSA OK. Ah, crap. The NSA is collecting information off my computer again. I hope they don't snag my Visa card info, because that's the card I use to buy all my embarrassing stuff. Okay. Okay. Which of these is my Visa card? 3000 blah 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 8450 4000 blah 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 9010 5000 blah 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 0666 or 6000 blah 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 0336 Now much, let me show you something. All Visa account numbers begin with the number 4. Similarly, all MasterCards begin with the number 5, and Discover cards start with, uh, I don't know. Hey, anybody know what, what number Discover cards start with? Anybody? Hmm, guess not. That 666 should have been a tip-off that this answer was the wrong choice. But someone out there really likes it when you make wrong choices, and that's why you've won... This gift basket from hell, personally prepared for you by our sponsor, The Devil. Go ahead and keep up your habit of consistently doing the wrong thing. This wrong answer of the game has earned you $4,000. Don't spend it all in one place. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Stop Sign Quarterly Magazine, because all the other magazine topics were already taken. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Let's try Robin Thick as Thieves.
I love that old Robin Thicke video, Blurred Lines, with all the sexy nudity and... Oh, there's a song, too? No, oh, I've, I've never watched it with sound. What might Robin Thicke have if he drew six blurred lines? A fuzzy octagon, a blurry hexagon, an indistinct pentagon, or a blurry heptagon? Why didn't you pick this? There are six lines in a hexagon. But if Robin Thicke drew it, it would be a sexagon, am I right? So sexy. Now, which one of the women in the video is Robin Thicke? The blonde one? No, an octagon is eight lines. You know, like a stop sign. Which you're about to know a lot more about because you've won... A one-year subscription to Stop Sign Quarterly, the only publication devoted entirely to America's third most interesting road sign. This wrong answer of the game has earned you $4,000. Don't spend it all in one place. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... The Mime Weather Channel. The weather channel that will really pull you in with an invisible rope. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. Here's one for you. Gwen at work. Which No Doubt song is No Doubt the closest to the title of E.B. White's classic children's novel? Don't Speak, Just a Girl, Bathwater, or Spiderwebs? Are you thinking of this one? E.B. White is known for writing Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web is, of course, the story about people being surprised a pig could holla back. Shh, don't say a word. Because you just won a mime umbrella from the Mime Weather Channel, where there's 100% chance of no talking. Today's wrong answer of the game is accompanied by an $8,000 cash bonus. Have at it. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Giant Kitchen Appliances! Huge, elegant, completely impractical Giant Kitchen Appliances! Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. First, kiss my mascot. Which of these mascots is often seen with a bumper shoot? Mr. Peanut, the Morton Salt Girl, the Pillsbury Doughboy, or the Jolly Green Giant? Watch the time! The correct answer is... A bumper shoot is another term for an umbrella, which is a classic part of the Morton Salt Girl mascot. But you know what she needs more than a bumper shoot? A little common sense. She's spilling that salt everywhere. I think you left your brain in your grocer's freezer. But you'll have plenty of room to defrost it in a microwave from Giant Kitchen Appliances. Giant power cord not included. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a tidy 4,000 bucks. There you go. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Accordion to Jim Accordion Store. Your one-stop shop for all your accordion needs. Well, needs is probably a strong word. Desires, yes, accordion desires. No, that's probably too strong, too. Look, if you have or want an accordion, just come here. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. Up next, your invisible horse is styling. If Gangnam Style singer Psy also wanted to be known for his gingham style, what would you most likely see him wearing? A paisley bow tie, a polka dot dinner jacket, a checkered dress shirt, or a pair of zigzag dress pants? Here's what you meant to pick. Gingham is a plain weave cotton fabric that commonly has a checkered pattern. And if you haven't heard of Gingham Style, it was a one-stitch wonder. I'd hate to poke a fun at this answer. And I won't, because this is the wrong answer of the game, which means you've just won... Heavy Metal Accordion from the Accordion to Jim Accordion Store. Rock out with your later hosen. It's out. 
This wrong answer of the game nets you a handsome 8,000 bucks. Yeah, you're welcome. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Spray-On Sunburn. A healthy way to look damaged. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. May I introduce... Gagging on the Couch. There are so many characters in the Simpsons universe, I still don't know how many total because there are more of them than there are fingers at this office. I may have to figure out a different way to count. Hmm, maybe this Geiger counter over here. If I use a Geiger counter, which character from The Simpsons will it definitely count? Duffman, Crazy Cat Lady, Radioactive Man, or Mr. Burns? <laughs> No, no, I'll get this. The Geiger counter is an instrument used to pick up radioactivity levels, so it would definitely pick up Radioactive Man. Radiation can last thousands of years, or a couple of seasons less than The Simpsons. It looks like you got burned. And now you can get burned for weeks to come with... A can of Spray-On Sunburn you just won from Spray-On Sunburn. Spray-On Sunburn, the safe, easy way to look sunburned fast. This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Sculpt by Numbers! Anybody can sculpt with our patented Sculpt by Numbers system! Unfortunately, not many people want to. Please help us! Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Coming up... Mind over manners! Which of these museum art pieces features a rude person who is not taking off his hat while inside the museum? Woods American Gothic, Botticelli's The Birth of Venus, Magritte's The Son of Man, or Michelangelo's David? Now pay attention. Magritte's Son of Man features a man whose face is obscured by a green apple as he rudely continues to wear a hat indoors. I haven't been this upset at a painting since I noticed Judas was chewing with his mouth open at the Last Supper. I'm going to chisel away at some of your cash. But you'll do some chiseling of your own with... A Sculpt by Numbers Slab! With so many sculptures to choose from, you can take your pick! And then choose which sculpture to make with your pick. By pick, I mean a pickaxe. This wrong answer of the game just got you an extra 4,000 smackers. Congratulations. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... The Alliance of Mole People for a Better America. Look, mole Americans hate terrorism and love freedom just as much as human Americans. Trust us, we're not up to anything. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. Pucker up for... Reduce, Reuse, Reheat. It seems like a lot of factories are going green these days. I don't like it. If there aren't plumes of smoke coming out of factory chimneys, then what are street urchins gonna choke on? Anyway, it got me wondering. If the Cheesecake Factory went completely green, what would be the only sauce they'd offer? Hollandaise sauce, chimichurri sauce, mole sauce, or bechamel sauce? This would've worked. Made from parsley, the Argentinian sauce chimichurri has a bright green tint. And I like a lot of sauce on my cheesecake. Mmm, saucy cheesecake. No, mole is not your friend. But moles will be with this. T-shirts of a mole holding an American flag, just like the one you won from the Alliance of Mole People for a Better America. Blindly follow us to a better tomorrow. Today's wrong answer of the game brings you an extra $8,000. Surprise. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Legal Puppets! We've got Lawyer Puppets, Judge Puppets, Grand Jury Puppets, Bailiff Puppets, and, new for this season, Assistant District Attorney Puppets! You won't object to our prices! Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash.
Open wide for... Wreck-It Ralph is just a Hamlet ripoff. Which of these Disney animated films is very, 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 very loosely based on a story by Hans Christian Andersen? Tangled, Pinocchio, Frozen, or Lilo and Stitch? Why didn't you pick this? Frozen is loosely, and I mean loosely based on the Hans Christian Andersen story, The Snow Queen. In that there is a snowy queen, and pretty much every other single thing in the story is completely different. So if you're a Hans Christian Andersen purist, let it go. Let it go! This is what you get when you let your conscience be your guide. And you know what else you get? This Southern Lawyer Puppet from Legal Puppets. If you can tell the difference between our puppets and an actual lawyer, your next puppet is free. This wrong answer of the game got you $4,000. Nice job. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... One a month vitamins! Our slow release formula means you get all the vitamins you need for one whole month in one huge f***ing pill! Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Let's begin with... Tweedledee and Tweedledead. So, I'm afraid I have some sad news. Last night... Our newest intern, Freddy, got food poisoning from some bad oysters. The doctors did everything they could, but, uh, he's no longer with us. Like my former intern, Freddy, which of these Alice in Wonderland characters is most likely to have an obituary that reads, Ate some bad oysters. The Queen of Hearts, the March Hare, the Mock Turtle, or the Walrus, and or the Carpenter. <laughs> Through the looking glass, the walrus and the carpenter trick some unsuspecting oysters into following them down the beach so they can gobble them all up. Which is not very nice. Why can't we all just be nice to each other? If Freddy were here with us today, he'd agree. Cookie, Freddy's not dead. They said he's gonna be fine. What? Then why isn't he at work? When he comes back, fire that motherfucker. March yourself straight over to the loser's circle. Collect your prize! This vitamin from One Among Vitamins! Don't worry, it's a suppository. You'll be happy to know this wrong answer if the game comes with $4,000. Congrats. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Overgrown Backyard Supply Store. Because rusted out old washing machines don't just buy themselves. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. And on its way, is our children learning? I was watching a little Nick Jr. yesterday during my me time, and it seems like all their show titles are just nonsense words. Lala Loopsie? Team Umizoomi? Because every word in its title is an actual word in the English language, which of these Nick Jr. shows might be the most educational? The Backyardigans, Yo Gabba Gabba, Wow Wow Wubsy, or Bubble Guppies? <laughs> Want to see the right answer? Bubble is a real word, obviously, and so is Guppies. Nick Jr. did it. They titled an entire show using actual English. <laughs> Of course, that can sometimes be misleading. I've tried to watch that Dora the Explorer before, and half the time it sounds like she's speaking a completely different language. Not to destroy your childlike view of the world here, but backyardigans aren't real things. But you know, it is a real thing. These cinder blocks that you just won, courtesy of the overgrown backyard supply store. Why mow your lawn when you can just fill it up with crap? This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Neptune! Now that Pluto is out of the way, we're the last planet in the solar system. And that's kick-ass, right? Neptune. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. And on its way... How do you draw Carl's Jr.? 
Which of these restaurant chain's logos does not contain an image described by the restaurant name itself? Red Lobsters, The Cheesecake Factories, Planet Hollywoods, or Buffalo Wild Wings? It's so obvious. There's a lobster in the Red Lobster logo, a Planet in the Planet Hollywood logo, and a buffalo in the Buffalo Wild Wings logo. But there's nothing cheesecake or factory related depicted in the Cheesecake Factory logo. Which is why I never eat there. Is it a cheesecake restaurant? Is it a factory? How the heck am I supposed to know what I'm getting myself into? I think you're a little lost in space. But you won't be for much longer because you've just won... This globe of Neptune! You can't tell one uninhabitable area of frozen methane from the next without it. This wrong answer, the game has earned you $4,000. Don't spend it all in one place. And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Hats for rats! What, they're good enough for medical testing, but not good enough for a hat? Let them have a hat, for God's sake! It's all they've got! Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Here's one I like to call... We're too po for this house. What kind of homeowner's insurance would be most important to whoever owns the House of Usher from Edgar Allan Poe's story? Giant monster rodent infestation coverage? House randomly crumbling to pieces coverage? Meteor destroying neighborhood coverage? Or devil revealing houses in hell dimension coverage? Here's what a right answer looks like. At the end of Poe's The Fall of the House of Usher, the house splits in half and then crumbles to the ground for no worldly reason. The point is, if you ever find yourself in the middle of an Edgar Allan Poe story, just make sure you get full coverage on every possible thing. Now, there are no giant rats in the house of Usher. But hopefully there are some rats in your life, because you've just won... A rat pimp hat from Hats for Rats! Your rat will be the life of the party with this pimp hat! Gold rat teeth sold separately. This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Teen Pool Pool Toilets. You're in for a great deal. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. Take a good look at... Kiss Me Kate Upton. So, I had this weird dream where Kate Upton and I got married and moved to the suburbs. It sounds nice, but I never get to see her because she's always dropping the kids off at soccer practice and I just go mow the lawn. Oh man, I hate being dream married. Where would dream Kate Upton be off to if our imaginary soccer playing kids switched to playing rugby? Dropping the kids off at the pitch, dropping the kids off at the green, dropping the kids off at the pool, or dropping the kids off at the diamond? <laughs> Want to see the answer? A game of rugby is played on a field called a pitch. The worst thing is, I'm pretty sure Kate Upton is cheating on me with Dream Ryan Gosling. Why did I dream him up? You're swimming in the deep end. But that's right where you need to be to use... A floatable inflatable toilet from P and Pool Pool Toilets. In the inflatable toilet industry, we're number one and number two. Today's wrong answer of the game brings you an extra $8,000. Surprise! And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Nose Candy Company! It's candy! You stick up your nose! Who says your mouth gets to have all the fun? Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. Try this on for size. Please respect my spacey. So, I'm going to see my family soon, which means one thing. An inevitable debate on which show we all silently watch together. So, I'm wondering... If my family votes on whether or not to watch House of Cards the same way the U.S. House of Representatives formally votes, what will I hear? Eyes and nays, yeses and noes, yays and nays, or approves and declines? Oh, you're going to kick yourself. Yays and nays are the official words used when tallying votes in the U.S. House. 
I stopped watching House of Cards because I thought it was annoying when Kevin Spacey talked to the audience. I hate it when someone talks to the audience. Do you know what I'm talking about? Isn't that really annoying? So, um, what else is going on with you? The no's don't help you here. But they do when you have... Nose gum from the Nose Candy Company. Because your face has the ability to choose. This wrong answer, the game has earned you $4,000. Don't spend it all in one place. And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Shrunken Head Superstore. We refuse to make a get a little head joke. Oh, I guess we just did. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. Here's a good one. You are what you think you're eating. Which food slogan would not be an example of false advertising? Blood pudding. Find it in the dessert section. Head cheese is the cheesiest. Sweet bread like your baker makes it. Or camel milk. Goodness straight from the camel's teat. No, no, I'll get this. Blood pudding and head cheese are actually types of sausages, and sweet bread is the thymus gland of an animal. But camel milk is simply that. Milk. And their ad campaign was, Got camel milk? No, seriously, do you have it? Because it's hard to find. Next time, use your head. Or better yet, use... This shrunken head USB stick from the shrunken head superstore. Tiny heads, big savings. This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Rocks that kinda look like things. If you buy a rock and it doesn't look like a thing, we'll replace it with a different rock that sort of looks like something else. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Let's start with... Butt Meat Foot. Which of these action stars, if he went home and kicked the butt of everybody in his native country, would end up kicking the fewest butts? Jason Statham, Dwayne Johnson, Jean-Claude Van Damme, or Arnold Schwarzenegger? Want to see the answer? Arnold Schwarzenegger is from Austria with around 8 million people, which makes for the smallest home country population to get their butts kicked. But still, if you have to make a terrible joke after each butt kick, it could take a long time. You got caught between a rock and a hard place. But not just any rock, because you won an Abraham Lincoln rock from rocks that kind of look like things. You can kind of see it in the right light. This wrong answer of the game is worth $4,000. Congratulations. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... The Banana and Hammock Store. We only sell bananas and hammocks. What? Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Take a stab at ancient primetime television. Which TV show features the same number of people living under one roof as the number of people in Julius Caesar's political alliance before he became emperor? Three's Company, Brady Bunch, Odd Couple, or 30 Rock? Here's where the money is. In ancient Roman times, a triumvirate of three leaders would form a coalition. Julius Caesar was part of the first triumvirate with Pompey the Great and Marcus Crassus. Oh, they had so many wacky misunderstandings. And most of them ending with someone getting brutally stabbed to death. It's always wrong answers, wrong answers, wrong answers. But your bunch mistake just got you a partial bunch of fun because you just won one banana and one hammock from the Banana and Hammock Store. Why not take a nap and then afterwards enjoy a banana? The Banana and Hammock Store. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Peeping Todd's Pervert Supplies. Get out of the bushes and into our store. Become a member today and we'll whack off an additional 10%.
Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. It's time for Wild Times in My Mouth. Which of these is not a candy bear? A gummy grizzly, a red licorice red panda, a sour patch sun bear, or a peeps polar bear? I so wanted you to pick this one. A red panda is not a bear. It's actually closer to a raccoon. Great! So I've been taking sexy photos on raccoon skin rugs? Yeah, no, I'm afraid you're in peep trouble. Which is why you're lucky to have won this giant shrub costume with built-in binoculars from Peeping Todd's Pervert Supplies. Keep your hands where no one can see them. This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Land McDally's Incorrect Maps. They'll get you to the general area of where you need to go. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. Coming up... Literacy for her. So, have you heard of this term, chiclet? Apparently, any book written by a woman gets lumped into this category, which I think is really demeaning. Why can't it be called Babelit? Anyway, using this chiclet logic, which of these books is not chiclet? Gone with the Wind, To the Lighthouse, The French Lieutenant's Woman, or Atlas Shrugged? <laughs> One right answer coming up. Gone with the Wind, To the Lighthouse, and Atlas Shrugged were written by Margaret Mitchell, Virginia Woolf, and Ayn Rand, respectively. John Fowles, the only non-chick, wrote The French Lieutenant's Woman. John Fowles' work belongs in the great genre of prose known as lit. Atlas holds up the world, but you just drop the ball. But that lets you pick up... An incorrect map of America from Bland and McDally's Incorrect Maps, because f geography. This wrong answer of the game is worth 8,000 bucks for you. Nice job. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Luxury tinfoil hats. When you are paranoid about aliens and keeping up with the latest fashion, luxury tinfoil hats. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. Up next, Old Saint Jezelnik. So, comedian Anthony Jezelnik has a show on Comedy Central that's just about being offensive. It's even called the Jezelnik Offensive. Speaking of which, if Anthony Jezelnik made a joke about an offensive fencing move, what might be the setup? You ever see a priest epay himself? My girlfriend says I saber too much. I saw a blind kid flesh the other day. Or, I showed an old lady my foil. <laughs> Hello! It's so obvious. A saber, epee, and foil are all types of swords and fencing. A flesh is an offensive attack. If you ask me, fencing masks are pretty offensive to flies. Come on, their eyes aren't that ugly. You've been foiled. Now so will your skull. You just won. A tinfoil fedora from luxury tinfoil hats. Don't be paranoid about looking fantastic. This wrong answer of the game got you $4,000. Nice job. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Angry Mob Superstore. We carry the torch for all your Angry Mob supply needs. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Here's one for you. Party, 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 party! Which of these party games would be most terrifying to a claustrophobic? Spin the bottle, seven minutes in heaven, mafia, or two truths and a lie? <laughs> The classic party game, Seven Minutes in Heaven, involves being locked in a closet for seven minutes. Something someone with a fear of enclosed spaces would probably have trouble with. And that 
explains why all the girls I was trapped in closets with in high school were so unhappy. So many claustrophobics. So many more than you'd think. Uh-oh, you ran afoul of an angry mob. But maybe you can blend into that angry mob with this. Matching pitchfork set from the Angry Mob Superstore. The Angry Mob Superstore. Now you'll be participating in dangerous frenzied mass hysteria. In style! This wrong answer of the game has netted you an extra 4,000. Congratulations. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Butt Busts. Honor the great thinkers and musical geniuses of history with one of our rock hard as statues. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> Try this on for size. Newman's Own Cheese Doodles. Which popular snack food would most likely feature a picture of Emmett Kelly on the bag? Goldfish crackers, pirate's booty, Teddy Grahams, or circus peanuts? <laughs> the correct answer is... Emmett Kelly was a famous circus performer best known for his sad clown character, Weary Willy. <laughs> Boy, was that guy hilarious. All that crippling depression. <laughs> Good stuff. Your booty just got kicked. But you feel too sore because you've just won a bust of Mozart's butt from Butt Busts because you can't spell Requiem Mass without ass. You'll be happy to know this wrong answer. The game comes with $4,000. Congrats. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Finger of the Month Club because it's easier than going out month after month and finding fingers yourself. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. I call this one, What am I eating? Which food is not lying about what animal or body part it is? Buffalo wings, chicken fingers, pig's feet, or elephant ears? Ready for this? Yep. <clears throat> yep. These pig's feet I'm eating are... Actual pig's feet. They don't taste as bad as I thought they would. Just have to remember to take the pig's socks off first. Um, chickens don't have fingers. But maybe a pointer finger could help you out. Like the one you'll be getting with your year-long subscription to the Finger of the Month Club. Why settle for only 10 fingers when you can get 12 a year set right to your door? The Finger of the Month Club. We've been fingering mailboxes since 1954. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Eddie Bowl Edible Toilets. They're not just sanitary, they're sanitasty. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. It's time for... Luck is only pretending to be a lady tonight. I try to stay away from gambling in casinos because I'm just not a numbers guy. 7, 40, 0, Norkin, those numbers don't mean anything to me. I'm more of a words guy. Which of these casino game names is not also a verb? Slots, blackjack, poker, or craps? Let me show you something. Slots, blackjack, and of course craps can all be verbs. But puns aside, poker is really just a noun. And nobody knows what the f*** Baccarat is. Now, craps is definitely a verb, trust me. And you're gonna find that out when you take a crap in a brand new gingerbread toilet from Edible Edible Toilets. Why wait to get to the kitchen to fill your belly right back up? Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a tidy 4,000 bucks. There you go. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Cattle Pulse. Cows can't jump over the moon, but they can get flung over a barn from the makers of the Goat Cannon. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. 
Open wide for dethroning the Sacramento Kings. Which NBA team would King Charles I think were big supporters of his? The Utah Jazz, the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Detroit Pistons, or the Chicago Bulls? The supporters of King Charles I and his son were known as the Cavaliers. So when it comes to basketball, the Cavaliers would be his team. There's even a dog now called the King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. Oh, I just had an idea for Airbud 15. That's a bullheaded way of thinking. You'll be able to launch a successful life with... A buffalo catapult from Cattle Pulse. We take ground chuck and chuck them off the ground. Today's wrong answer of the game gets you another 8,000 on top of your current score. Sweet. Question 7. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... A-Hole Premium Holes. When you need a hole, you know where to go. A-Hole Premium Holes. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. How about... I want a lover to cheese me. So for this next question... Hey, Cookie, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Up. Your mom is on the phone. She says you need to get your cheese ladies out of the house. They're starting to stink. What the hell is she talking about? Um... Let's say a lonely man decided to sculpt a life-sized, beautiful lady out of a bunch of cheese. You know, just so he could have somebody to talk to or whatever. I don't know. So, compared to his other cheesy ladies, which one would be oh-so-soft? A Colby Jack Kobe Smulders? A Brie Allison Brie? A Swiss Cheese Sarah Michelle Geller, Or an Asiago Aubrey Plaza? <laughs> Were you thinking of this one? Brie is a spreadable soft cheese. And it's also the easiest cheese to talk to. This answer has holes in it. We'll be further in the hole with... An escape hole from A-Hole Premium Holes. When you need to get away fast and leave absolutely no trace of yourself except for a mysterious hole, this is your product. A-Hole Premium Holes cannot guarantee you where you will end up or if you will ever be able to come back. Today's wrong answer of the game gets you another 8,000 on top of your current score. Sweet. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Corn! You're eating it even when you don't think you are. It's corn. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. Pucker up for... I don't negotiate with vandalists. Say a criminal mastermind decides to kidnap Mount Rushmore and hold it for ransom. What's something he could chisel off of the monument and send to the cops to show that he's serious? Abraham Lincoln's ear, George Washington's left hand, Thomas Jefferson's beard, or Teddy Roosevelt's glasses? Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. On Mount Rushmore, Abe Lincoln has no visible ears, George Washington has no hands, and Thomas Jefferson certainly doesn't have a beard. But Teddy Roosevelt is wearing a pair of glasses that his captor could chisel off and send to the cops. I know, it doesn't seem that threatening, but have you ever seen Teddy Roosevelt without his glasses? He's hideous. Hey, to ear is human. And speaking of ears, you've just won... This stalk of corn, signed by former Secretary of Agriculture, Daniel R. Glickman. A lovely conversation piece that can be passed down in your family from generation to generation at the dinner table, because it will spoil soon. Today's wrong answer of the game is accompanied by an $8,000 cash bonus. Have at it. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... The Vatican Gift Shop. Our prices are infallible. Mention the Pope and get an additional 10% off. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. <laughs> this one's known as... Ain't No Valley Greasy Enough. So, you know how when you go to Burger King and order the kids meal, they give you one of those cool cardboard crowns to wear? Well, 
Say Burger King opens a location in the Valley of the Kings. Instead of cardboard crowns, what might they start giving out with their kids' meals? Cardboard Pharaoh staffs, cardboard Pope hats, cardboard Julius Caesar masks, or cardboard Chinese emperor beards. It's so obvious. The Valley of the Kings is a valley on the west bank of the Nile where many of the pharaohs of ancient Egypt were buried, including King Tut. Look, I don't mind if vandals steal precious historical artifacts from the ancient pyramids, but if they remove a single patty from my BK triple stacker, then there will be hell to pay. Well, you're not infallible. <laughs> You'll smell like you are with... New Pope Smell Cologne from the Vatican Gift Shop. All coffee mugs now 16% off. This wrong answer of the game has earned you $4,000. Don't spend it all in one place. And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Mother Trucker, truck store for women. For a limited time, try our belly slimming seat belts and get a new floral mud flap for half price. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Okay, to get things started, bridge over fire water. If Captain Morgan only played games related to rum, what card game might he play? Bridge, Canasta, Texas Hold'em, or 52 Card Pickup? Smart people choose this. Canasta is a form of rum or rummy, so Captain Morgan would play Canasta. But never gin rummy. It's a conflict of interest. You've got a mess to pick up. But don't forget the junk dangling under your pickup. Because you just want a pair of truck ovaries from Mother Trucker. Truck store for women. No one will mess with you when they see these beauties hanging from your hitch. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a tidy 4,000 bucks. There you go. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Chemicals Chemicals. If it's not flammable, it's not from Chemicals. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. And on its way, fear and puppeteering in Las Vegas. Which Muppet shares a name with the kind of writing Hunter S. Thompson is known for? Rolf, Kermit, Beaker, or Gonzo? One right answer coming up. Hunter S. Thompson created the genre of Gonzo journalism. On the other hand, Fozzie journalism is centered around the seven W's. Who, what, when, where, why, waka, and waka. You just got Bunsen burned. So let your problems melt away with a barrel of sulfuric acid from Chemical's Chemicals. We're the problem dissolvers. This wrong answer of the game has earned you $4,000. Don't spend it all in one place. And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by JFN, the Junk Food Network. Finally combining unhealthy food and television. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. And now, personal ads are so 1847. Which personal ad would be best for a Jane Eyre type seeking a Mr. Rochester type? SWF seeking SWM? SWF seeking MWM? SWF seeking SBM? Or SWF seeking JFN? No, no, I'll get this. In Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre, Jane is a young single white female, and Mr. Rochester is revealed to be a MWM, a married white male. But in Mr. Rochester's defense, he was a MWM, B H W H G T C A L L A F A I H A, which of course stands for married white male because his wife had gone totally crazy and lived like a feral animal in his attic. Or as you might say on Facebook, it's complicated. <laughs> As far as I know, JFN doesn't stand for anything in personal ads. Jewish from Norway? No. But JFN does make fine products like... This donut juicer from the Junk Food Network. Why chew a donut when you can drink one and burn far fewer calories? 
He'll be happy to know this wrong answer of the game comes with $4,000. Congrats. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Optometrix Novelty Eyewear. Our products rarely cause blindness anymore. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Right off the bat, Jodie Foster, The People. I hate it when I like a movie and people are always saying, Oh, the book was better. The book was better. Shut up, people. If I wanted to know how good the book was, I would have learned how to read good. Which of these Jodie Foster movies was not based on a book that was better, or any book at all? The Silence of the Lambs, Contact, Maverick, or The Hotel New Hampshire? <laughs> Want to see the right answer? Silence of the Lambs, Contact, and The Hotel New Hampshire were all based on big best-selling books, but Maverick was just based on the old James Garner TV show. And yeah, the TV show was better. But at least it wasn't a book. And I think you might need some contacts to see the right answer. Which is why you've won these googly eye contact lenses from Optometrix Novelty Eyewear. Warning, if you put them in backwards, you will rip your eyes out. Today's wrong answer of the game earns you 4,000 bucks. Enjoy. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... The CIA Outlet Store. It's a covert shopperation. Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. How about... Adios, Strawberry Fields. Which of these could not be a foreign language translation of the Beatles song, Hello, Goodbye, Ciao, Ciao, Aloha, Aloha, Kanikiwa, Kanikiwa, or Salu, Salu? Correct answer, show yourself. Ciao, Aloha, and Salu can all be used to say either hello or goodbye, but the Japanese word Kanikiwa is only used as a greeting. But instead of saying goodbye, the Japanese just throw a smoke bomb and disappear before the air clears. Or maybe that's just the ninjas. C-I-A-O, get it? That means you're gonna be getting... This alien life form from the CIA outlet store. Make sure to keep them away from bright lights, human environments, and Dan Aykroyd. Today's wrong answer of the game brings you an extra $8,000. Surprise! And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Underwear Innovations, Inc. In your pants since 1922. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Here's one I like to call... The Westminster Snob Show. Suppose the American Kennel Club decides to hire a bouncer to keep out all the non-AKC recognized dog breeds. What instructions might the manager give the bouncer on his first day? No matter what you do, don't let any boxers in. Your job is to keep those St. Bernard clowns out of here. Do anything you can to keep the Boston Terriers away. Or, if I see you let one American Bulldog in here, you're fired. I so wanted you to pick this one. Boxers, St. Bernards, and Boston Terriers are all officially recognized breeds of the American Kennel Club. But American Bulldogs are not, so the bouncer would have to turn them away. But only after they made a big show out of staring at their ID for 20 minutes. You shouldn't have let this one in. But that's okay, because soon you'll be letting the breeze in with... This pair of air-conditioned underwear from Underwear Innovations, Inc. Remember, swamps are for alligators, not for asses. This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Just Bats, the store that only sells bats. Shh, don't excite the... Ah, bats! So many bats! Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. Open wide for... I marvel at history. Based on his origin story, which of these superhero alter egos could Marie Curie empathize with? Tony Stark, Clark Kent, Bruce Banner, or Bruce Wayne? 
Here's where the money is. Just like Bruce Banner, Marie Curie was a scientist whose work exposed her to large amounts of radioactivity. But instead of the radiation turning her into a giant green superhero, she later died. Coincidentally, her dying words were, Don't let Edward Norton play me in the movie. No, Marie Curie was never a tortured vigilante like Batman. But you can be tortured by... Bats! Hundreds of bats! Ah! They're fighting me! This wrong answer of the game got you $4,000. Nice job. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... One plus one sidecars! Don't be discouraged by how insanely dangerous they are! They're fun! If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. How about... I have lots of baggage. Say the TSA lets me bring the Sword of Damocles on my flight. Based on its traditional position, where would the flight attendant most likely make me store it? Under the seat in front of me, in the seat next to me, in the overhead compartment, or in the rear of the plane? The correct answer is... The Sword of Damocles is from an ancient Greek story where a man's life is in constant peril from a sword dangling above his head. The term is often used as a metaphor for impending doom. That was the best impending doom metaphor the ancient Greeks could come up with because home loans hadn't been invented yet. Now you don't want to disturb the annoying smelly person who is inevitably sitting there. But you can have anyone you want sit next to you with... A wheelchair sidecar from Fun Plus One Sidecars. You'll look fashionable and stylish and not the least bit like a terrible, pathetic human being as you ride along in this sidecar doing absolutely none of the work yourself. Today's wrong answer of the game is accompanied by an $8,000 cash bonus. Have at it. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Cookie Masterson's Closet. Featuring random items from a sad and meaningless life. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Coming up... Better homes and graveyards. Suppose the killer from Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Hearts appeared on an episode of HGTV's House Hunters. Considering where he hid the body of his victim, what feature would he look for in a house? Lots of extra closet space, an indoor fire pit, a big spacious attic, or easily removable floorboards? Allow me. The killer in the Telltale Heart hit his victim's body under the floorboards, so he'd want to be able to remove those things without too much hassle. Personally, though, I think he should have gone with that two-bedroom colonial with the granite kitchen countertops. Sure, there's not a lot of space for hiding murdered bodies, but the neighborhood has such great schools. You're alone in the dark here. But you won't be alone for much longer because you've just won... A girlfriend mop from my closet. Come out of the closet with a hot babe. This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations.